I see this rice pudding sitting perfectly on Donald Trump's dining room table. <laughs> a few years ago, I was at a fancy restaurant and the server came out and placed a plate of beet risotto in front of me and he made sure to mention that the risotto was covered in an entire leaf of gold and then walked away and I immediately thought that was ridiculous. So to poke fun at my experience, we are going to make a saffron rice pudding which in itself uses a very expensive product, um, saffron, and then we're going to gild the entire surface of the rice with gold leaf and then we're going to top it with more uh, fruit that's been gilded and gold as well. Risotto rice, sugar, two cinnamon sticks, the zest of a lemon, three grams kosher salt, a vanilla bean that we're going to split, scrape out the seeds. Saffron threads, I like to crush them up a little, and four cardamom pods. I put these guys in a tea bag and throw it in your pot. So now we're gonna cook it. So once your rice is cooked, you wanna empty it out into a bowl and cover the surface with plastic wrap. And then just chill it down until the rice is completely cold. And now we're gonna stir in our finely chopped preserved lemon. Preserved lemon is basically brined in a mixture of salt, sugar, and aromatics, and you just let them sit for at least a month for all of the salt and sugar to extract the moisture from the lemon and basically pickle it. We've got some berries, we have a blood orange here, Bananas are always fun. Chocolate curls that you can use to jazz up your rice. And some pomegranate seeds. We're going to spoon some pudding onto the plate. We're using this ring here to keep everything in place. Remove your ring and get ready to gild your rice. Once your rice is fully gilded, we're going to decorate it with all of our beautifully gilded fruit. There's no point in holding back, so just keep on decorating. And I present to you King Midas's saffron rice pudding with gilded fruit. In the dining room, we would have to charge at least 60, 75, maybe $100. Who would really want to buy a $100 dessert?